So you touched on there your approach to editing it is very small scale. It's, you know, you're shooting raw, so you have that ability to mess with the lighting and the color profiles in amazing detail now with the level of software that people have. Do you feel that um, that that's kind of the attitude you've evolved towards editing is, is just little changes? Yeah, that came from a lot of my time spent in newspaper editing, um, in newspaper photography, where there's editorial guidelines. You can't change that much for a picture in in a newspaper you don't want to it's 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 ethically not possible you can't add or take away subjects from an, an image you can't manipulate an image to to lead the viewer into something that didn't happen um and i've tried to take that and a lot of us especially the older photographers that have been around a long time have tried to take that that mindset to you know if you don't like a background or you don't like a situation then move so I don't, ha I truly don't have time to spend even one minute editing a picture. If it's not something that I can edit in, you know, 15 or 20 seconds max, I'm going to trash it. Like I, there's just no point in me adding in a rainbow or a sun flare or a unicorn galloping across the racetrack. Like it has to be what I want it to be in the camera. Otherwise, it's too much work. It's too much time. I might be missing something out on track. There, there's just there's a lot to it that you really have to be thinking about when you're actually ho physically holding the camera trackside that I need it to be as good as possible right then and there. Mm -hmm.